All right, y'all. Happy to be back. Happy to be back on a snap back, okay? This is going to be for my beautiful fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. I was getting a lot of channel messages um, before I started you guys' as a read. Well, not a lot compared to what I usually get, but um, something about new realizations. You're being headed to a new destination and new direction. Then I meant to move these shoes. But whatever. Then I looked over at my shoes and it was like um, something about people couldn't like your enemies couldn't walk a mile in your shoes, but then like have like the audacity to be like your enemies. Something like that is significant. All right. Um, you could be seeing one 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 a lot, seven 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 five five five. But I feel like you're coming to a lot of um different realizations at this time. You're being head like God is God is bringing you somewhere new to a whole new direction here. Someone could be from Memphis, or you could be moving to Memphis. Or that's like, is that like a... Uh, I was going to say like a football, basketball team. I don't know. It's maybe Memphis, some some, some, some type of sport. That's somebody's favorite uh, sport. I don't know, y'all. My hand can be... Man, my big old hand. Oh, hold up, y'all. There was something else I was going to say. I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna get um some charms here. I think I'm gonna start doing this in the reads, get some charms here. Try to tap into uh I didn't know there was a crystal in here. Clear quartz. No. Cause I have a clear quartz in my bra. Is this clear quartz? I don't know what crystal this is, y'all, but this could be significant for you guys. Is it clear quartz? Maybe it's just tumbled and that's why it looks different. I don't know. But, um, I'm going to put it back in there. So, you guys will be working with crystals or being, you know, called to do some type of healing crystal work. I know this is a peace sign. Yup. Peace. Okay, so you guys are, you guys are, the things that you're realizing, I feel like they're not like, um... Whatever you're realizing, it's bringing you comfort. It's bringing you peace, okay? This new di this new uh, direction, this new destination that you're headed to, the way that I just moved my ring here, this could also be like uh, the cosmos, like following the stars, the voice of your soul. They're guiding you somewhere. They're taking you somewhere to a new direction. Then I was watching... Y'all, I was so excited. I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control, and I didn't realize. Okay. <laughs> when I first started y'all's read, too, I was like, I'm so excited. I don't know what I'm excited for, but I'm finna, I'm, I'm excited. I'm finna get excited. I'm finna get, uh. Maybe this is y'all's energy. You're just in this happy energy. You don't know where you're headed. You don't know what direction, you know, God is taking you. You just know that you're going. You just know what's going to be better than better. You just know what's better than what you're experiencing right now. And, and it's, and it's true. Whatever you are, wherever you're heading to in life right now, there's going to be a lot of peace here. Okay. A lot of peace. And, um, there was something else I was going to say. Are you guys like forgetting a lot or like, um, your memory feels a little disoriented at this time. Something about vitamins. You may need vitamins or you may need to, um, take, if you have vitamins, take your vitamins, okay? Um, and if not, maybe you need to get some vitamins, all right? Invest in this. Peace. I'm also getting Libra energy, peacemaker energy. You could have this energy in your chart or you could um, be dealing with a Libra. I'm, I'm seeing the word Alize, Eliza, A-L-I-Z-A. This could be your confirmation. And there's something about nations. Worldwide nations. All right, so we're going to keep this peace right here. Yeah, I feel like that's what you guys are doing. You're keeping the peace. All right, you're being called to keep the peace, to be the peacemaker. Yeah, I'm just going to get one. Ooh. Why the hidden truth, like, literally handed me a card? If y'all would have seen that, okay. I don't, I know you don't feel the same. So I'm not going to tap much into this because I actually wanted to use um, the activation card, Sacred Geometry. But um, there is somebody in your energy here who knows you don't feel the same. Or maybe there's somebody who's thinking about you. They're wondering if you feel the same as they do, okay? 
This is from the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine deck. So if you're dealing with like um, a twin flame, this could also be somebody you're in separation from. Um, this could be a soulmate, right? It doesn't have to be a lover. This is just somebody who feels like, you know, I, I know you don't feel the same here as, as I feel, all right? That could be a confirmation for somebody here. But I'm just not being called to tap into those cards. But it did kind of just like slide out like, pick me. Okay, so there's like a pick me energy around you. Like, <laughs> why am I laughing? Are y'all laughing? That was so crazy. I don't know why I just laughed like that. Maybe y'all think it's funny. There's like a pick me energy. Like, um, this could even be within your love options. It's like, pick me, pick me, pick me. Okay. Like I said, you know, if that resonates for you, take it. If not, don't take it. We're going to tap into the read here. All right. Oh, thank you. Okay, so I see the water here, and I was channeling a read for myself, actually. Um, this dog is snoring. For myself, actually, a little bit ago. Um, this could be significant for you guys. Um, mommy Wata. Mommy Wata. <laughs> Did I say it? Yeah. You guys are working with her at this time or she is, is working with you, present with you, or there's a need to educate yourself about her. Look at my pinky. Um, <laughs> I feel, and, and this is, this is, um, she, is this, she has like, I want to say half fish, half serp. I don't, the, the, who wears the snake around? Their neck, um, my biggest thing that I took from it is uh, the protector of the um, melanated African Americans. So definitely look um, her up, educate yourself, because I feel like this is, um, this is her present or in your presence. I'm being very like overly, like I'm usually not, I feel like you're being very cautious of yourself or very self-aware. Oh y'all, I got some new earrings, you know what I'm saying? I got them on Walmart, it's for a zeal, you know I love a zeal. <laughs> All right, magic here, okay? You could be 31, we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna get, um, somebody's name is AJ and if that is your name, and you've been watching this channel for a while, I've been getting the name AJ for such a long time. Like, even like the um, AJ and Allie could be significant. That's like a, a Cowbells movie. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? It's like an old, old movie on Disney Channel. AJ and Allie, something like that. Those names could be significant. I'm hearing triple A. Triple A. All right, you have magic here. These are a lot. I'm not going to take them. There's like five of them. Give me one more card, Spirit. Or two more, actually. Thank you. Divine Feminine Energy. Okay, so this is taking me back to if you are a masculine energy, there's a Divine Feminine Energy who's like, I know you don't feel the same as I feel, okay? There could be a 10-year age difference with this person that um, their energy is coming up in this read. I also feel like you guys are tapping into your divine feminine energy, your, your softer side, your nurturing side. All right, you're being more understanding. Cosmic flower and compassionate, and you're being more compassionate. Somebody has went through some type of heart chakra activation, or that's what you're going through at this time. But magic here, the frequency of magic supports our intrinsic ability to grow and expand beyond this, mo this moment to move toward possibilities and expressions that are grand and profound as we can imagine. Do you believe in magic? Okay. Um, you could be tapping into magic, learning more about magic, right? The, the, the light side, right? I'm not getting like a... Because there's the moon at the bottom of the deck. But I'm really more so getting like this could be something new to you or uh, elusive. Or you could be, you know, slightly ignorant to um, magic, to what magic really is. This could also be just manifestation. I'm getting the magician in my eye. I feel like you're tapping into yourself. 
Now I'm hearing mic check, mic check, mic check. Somebody's name could be Mike. Or there's a need to like speak up. I also feel like this newfound understanding, realization that you're having is helping you um, move without judgment. Be more compassionate towards others as well as yourself. It's actually very beautiful. It's like even if you are a man, this divine feminine energy that you are tapped into is is what um, Spirit is telling me, the energy that you need to be in, stay in, in order for you to bring in this manifestation, in order for you to blossom, in order for you to open up. Cosmic flower, you know, a flower opens up, a flower booms with the cosmic here and the magic here. It's like you are opening yourself up to... Um, I'm getting like cosmic experiences, cosmic um, consciousness, universal universal consciousness. I don't know why I said it like that. Somebody's name is Gigi, Gina. Mm. You got the King of Swords in reverse, and these cards aren't even in the reverse. Am I gonna take it? Are these cards in the, are my cards upside down? Oh, yeah, because they fell out earlier. Hold up, y'all. Hold up, y'all. So, I mean, what I'm going to say here is be careful of any energy. There is an a, a air sign coming up here. It doesn't have to be an air sign, but somebody very intellectual, somebody very wise. This person can have a high grade of authority. They could work in the justice system, or they just have a very um, strong intellect, right? Be careful of this energy um, trying to abuse magic, right? I'm getting like trying to manipulate. This is somebody who could be very kind of like cold. I don't want to say narcissistic, but that's the word that, that keeps coming in my head. All right, so that's what I feel like Spirit wants you to watch out, watch out for. There is somebody in your energy that... Um, could be trying to do some type of mind manipulation, mind play. Okay, but I feel like this is also you in the upright. You're, you're holding your boundaries. You're making head over heart decisions. You're being very logical. All the illusions are behind you is what I'm getting here. Like, I'm getting like, I don't want to say, I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that people are beneath you. But one, two, three, as I say this, it's like, this energy, what people are trying to do, the tactics here, it's all, it's, it's beneath you. Like, you don't even see that shit. And if you do, it's like, you're still just standing in your power, standing in, you know, your own energy. You're very wise. You could be educating yourself. You hold a lot of wisdom with that crown on your head. Can't nobody tip your crown, baby. Can't nobody tip your crown. In fact, your crown is transforming with those butterflies here. So your crown chakra could literally be going through a transformation Yes, thank you, Spirit. That's what I'm picking up here. With the cosmic flower and the magic, it's like you have now opened yourself up to, this could be believing in magic. Maybe somebody here did not believe in magic. Whether that be on light or dark side, right? I'm also getting here like, your authentic magic within yourself, because you are the magic, right? Is no match for low vib low vibrational energies, okay? So let's move on. Yeah, strength. <laughs> I can't make it up. You're gonna overcome whatever you're facing at this time, you're gonna overcome, but it's like you're overcoming it with compassion. You're overcoming it with compassion. Whatever you went through in your life, whatever you experienced, you didn't allow it to make your heart cold like these other energies that are trying to, you know, get into your energy. Right? It's like you see the, the birds here. It's like you left, you left, I am hearing bird brain. So you left the birds where they was at. And I feel like this is also your ancestors, your angels, with these clouds, with the illusions, right? Deception here. They're on watch. They're on watch. Now I'm hearing like the neighborhood watch. That could be significant. But your ancestors are watching everything. And from my experience, right, if your ancestors are watching everything, right, and allowing it to be done, trust and believe there's a reason they're allowing certain energies to do what they're doing, right? It's kind of like them taking their own self out, basically. All right, because your strength is unmatched. You are resilient. Some of you guys are healers. 
Some of you guys have, um, you could be a Leo. I'm hearing double Leo in your chart. Some of you guys, it's like you're taming them, 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 uh, you're taming your enemies or your enemies who, it's like they try to tame you and you end up taming them. And then look, it's kind of like they're walking with you. It's kind of like they're on your leash, like walk them like a dog. Ain't that a, ain't that a, um, a song? I don't know. Walk them like a dog. I don't know y'all, but, but yeah, this divine feminine, this divine feminine energy that you're tapped into is so strong, so powerful. Like anything you, this is, this, this strength card, when this card comes out, it's almost like unstoppable. Can't nothing touch you. You are resilient. Your strength here. And it's crazy because a lot of it, it's not like this masculine energy, like this raw, raw type energy. It's kind of like you're like killing people with kindness, killing people with love. What's that song? Um, <laughs> killing me softly. <laughs> killing me softly. All right, that's what you're doing here is what I'm getting from this read. And it's like it's not intentional. Just you bossing up, just you blooming, right? Just you tapping into yourself, holding um, healthy boundaries, tapping into your own strength, your own magic. The strength of who you are, that magic, that authentic God, God is energy that was put in you, baby. I'm trying to tell you, if y'all are worried about anything at this time, I feel like this is a read, like, keep killing them with, with kindness, man. Two of Swords. There's something you don't see here. Or there could be something you're in denial about. If this is not you, this is this other energy. I feel like this is somebody that you're separated from. Somebody that um, could have caused some type of heartbreak here. Or, or you could be a heartbreaker. Clarify this two of swords for me, please. Oh, too many cards, but I'm going to look at them. What did I say, y'all? With the three of swords. That's what I was picking up. Somebody you're separated from. Somebody's in denial about some type of separation, heartbreak. Somebody honestly is in denial about the judgment of the Most High, the judgment of God. Somebody's in denial that this cycle is over, that this cycle has ended, that these, these people can no longer tap into your energy. These, nar these narcissists who are playing with magic here, because that's what I was picking up, but I, I really didn't want to make this read about that. They can't touch you. Touch not my anointed. Touch not my anointed. A lot of you guys felt like you were... um. I don't know, some of you guys could feel like you were being punished for something here because you were being stripped. Having to be vulnerable was so uncomfortable, it could have made you feel like there was something going on with you or like God was judging you. And that could be the case. But I'm not getting it in a bad way. I feel like God is judging you, then, then, then calling you, then initiating. The world card here. Because whatever this, whatever was going on with the new guys' situation, it had to come to an end. For a new world, what did we say in the beginning? For new realizations, a new des destination, a new direction to come about. Spirit is giving you the blueprint. Spirit is giving you the map. Spirit is giving you the compass. So there is a chapter, what's this, three, four, five. Yeah, this chapter dealing with manipulation, deception, feeling, you know, backstop, all this energy, it's gone. It's about to be wiped out, I'm trying to tell you. Spirit is wiping it out. You could be 21, you could be 18. Because touch not my anointed. The strength that I put in this one and this chosen one, get this. That's the reason why I let you come and do what you did to this person in the first place, right? Spirit was like, yeah, I'm gonna let them keep on coming towards you because spirit knew, God knew. 
touch on my anointed. Some of you guys are literally walking karma. So it's like, go ahead and come into that energy if you want to. You may not have known this, but spirit did. That was the illusion within itself. These people thinking that they could get over on you. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. And then you're about to get a whole new world. Whole new, a whole new world. Two, two, two on the clock as I said that. Filled with balance. What did we say? Filled with peace. Filled with peace. Peaceful times are on the horizon. Some of you guys could be signifying, um, I don't know, I'm getting like reborn again from this energy. New career, new money, new job, new spiritual gifts. This, this Ace of Pentacles, this is the hand of God. God is gifting you something. Some of you guys have been waiting on it, right? Some of you guys have been waiting on it. This, this, this two of wands is always planning, um, waiting, getting ready. Spirit has been preparing you for what you're about to be blessed with right now. Wow, some of you guys, this is love. Some of you guys, this is new love. Some of you guys, you had old lovers or you had, you know, people in the past that you were dealing with and it was false love. It was fake love. It was temptation or it was lust or it was karmic, right? Spirit had to end that. Spirit had to end that energy. Because if not, it's like it would have it kept you here. It would have kept you here, bound. They can't keep you. Somebody say, you can't keep me. The devil is a fucking lie. Absolutely not. So in this new world, understand this new world is yours. It is your time. You have arrived. You have awakened. You are being activated. Strip, yes. Vulnerable, yes. But look how far it's gotten you. You are, you are now tapping into um, your authentic self or something about your authenticity. Being naked. Can you love me naked? Someone who never asked for love but knows how to take it. Are you that somebody? All right, so in this new cycle, like I said, if you guys have been dealing with toxic love in your life, right? Spirit's about to bless you with true love, real love. It's like something you've been waiting on is going to come. Maybe you didn't expect it, you know, to come with so many separations. Maybe you didn't expect it with to um, come with so many endings, but you're going to come out the emperor, the freaking boss. Some of you guys are going to go from you feeling, you know, abandoned, left out. Maybe you're struggling with your health. You're having financial issues. All that don't matter. Don't look at the 3D. See, and I'm a person who, that's hard for me. Or at least it used to be, right? Seeing what's going on in the 3D, but then knowing what's really going on in the above, right? As above, so below. It's about to come below. All these, all these manifestations, this is what, you, what you've been manifesting. And wow, we have the emperor here in divine feminine. So if you think about it, this is the divine feminine, divine masculine, emperor, empress energy. Some of you guys are going to come into align with a destined partner. That is your good karma. Some of you guys, a, um, a dream job, a dream lifestyle, new, new um, health. God said, not my anointed. You can't touch this one. You can't touch this one. This one comes with, with authority. I put, I put power in you. It's like when they come towards you, they better respect you. They better know who you're tapped into. You got the keys, baby. What? What? You could be an Aries. So I feel like whatever's happening, it's going to happen fast. Some of you guys could, could get some communication here soon. Some of you guys could be traveling soon. Or this could be like word travels. There could be talk in the air, whatever, whatever. Tell them, run and tell this. Run and tell that. <laughs> right? Show them this message. Now run and tell that. Right? Something is about to take off for you very, very fast. And I feel like it's a new opportunity, a new lifestyle. It's, it's big, y'all. It's big. Judgment. 
It's like you're being initiated into something. You're being uh, uh, awakened. You're being activated. The Most High is, is giving you this gift, whatever you've been praying for, with your hands up. God is about to drop it in your lap. And a lot of you, it's because you did not become what hurt you. And these people tried. Oh, did they try so hard. But you said, nah, baby. I'm divine feminine. Or I'm divine masculine. I'm not coming off my crown. I'm not coming off my throne for shit. I'm going to stay compassionate. I'm going to keep healing my heart. I'm going to tap into this, um, this heart chakra energy, right? And I'm going to blossom. Cosmic flower. Right? And I'm a, I'm a blossom. They ain't got to believe you. They ain't got to believe you. Right? Because this is belief here. The frequency of belief supports our sense of self-worth based on our gifts, talents, and strong connection to source. They ain't believe you was connected to source. They ain't got to. But I bet you God going to show up. One thing about the most high... One thing about the most high, the light here, y'all about to be feeling so happy, so delighted with what the, with, 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 like overjoyed with happiness, what the most high is about to bring to you. One thing about the most high, one thing about the most high, one thing about the divine from, from, from childhood till now, one thing about the divine, the promises are always kept. The promise is always kept. God is about to fulfill the promise that was made to you. Get ready to, to receive. And you're in that divine feminine energy to receive. Get ready to receive, baby. That's what I have for y'all. Peace.